Hi everyone, it's Rabin here. Today I'm going to talk about WP code box. This is something I could use on all of my WordPress sites. Why do we need this kind of plugin? Every time I deploy any WordPress site, I create a custom plugin which contains the codes that optimize the site or allows or disables any specific functions. In that way, I reduce the usage of multiple plugins and sometimes it's just easier to maintain the code. Now the main problem that comes with that system is I have to copy the plugin to the new site and check whether there are any problems regarding the codes and whether I need all the codes in that plugin or not. When I saw WP code box, I realized that it can dramatically reduce the time I use for deployment for my code snippet. All these small codes actually helps me to tweak the capability of the website according to the needs. WP code box can maintain the code snippets over the cloud. What does that mean? Means I created a code snippet one of my website and then transfer them to my other WordPress web and it's such an easy way to do it. One more thing I need to talk about that it actually have an error recovery system. What does that mean? So if one of your code snippet have problem or code error, it will not disable the website. Instead, it will disable the snippet that is making the problem. So it, it's a huge time saver in terms of how you want to do troubleshooting on your site. And it also have the option to load the code snippet specifically on condition means it can be loaded on a specific page or it can be loaded on page types so it can be post or it can be just pages and everything in between so i'm going to show you how it works and i'm sure those who are using wordpress in daily basis they are going to take advantage of this so i'm going to dive right into it i'm going to show my first website where i have already installed the plugin and configured a little bit of things so this is my first website I have created a folder. You can also organize folders how you see fit. These two code snippets are currently disabled. This is why it's italic and grayed out. Now these two are active means they are applied on the website. So what are the kind of snippets you can have? You can have PHP, CSS, SCSS, LESS and JavaScript snippets. You can also select how you want to run the snippet either on page load or manually. Then you have the option where to run the snippet. You can choose everywhere, front end, admin area, or custom. When you go to custom, you can actually build the conditions how and where you want it to run. So, for example, if the current post type is page, it will run that snippet. There are many more variations. You can use PHP condition, page URL, currently logged in user, day of the week, or time. Now I'm going to save one of these, um, these two items are already saved in the cloud. You can see the cloud icon over here. Now this one, I'm going to save it to the cloud. It's so simple. I'm just going to click upload to the cloud. And you can see the cloud icon is available here. Now I will move to my next website to show you how I'm, I'm going to synchronize the whole thing. Okay, this is my second website and what I'm going to do is install the WP Codebox plugin. The WP Codebox plugin comes with the license itself. So once you install, it will automatically insert the license of the plugin into the system. I'm going to activate the plugin now. The WP Codebox plugin is now activated. I'm going to access the interface from the toolbar on the left side. All I have to do is click on Cloud Snippets. And you can see that recently the one I uploaded from the other website is available here. All I have to do is download and it is downloaded for this website and I'm going to enable it and save. If I want to organize this in a folder, I can create it and drag and drop into this folder. Now I'm going to create another snippet from the repository. There is a good collection of codes that is available for you to use. For example, I'm going to download the Google Tag Manager and it's downloaded. Now I'm going to try the same thing on my third website. This is my third website and I'm going to install the plugin. Now I'm going to activate the plugin. Here you can see WP Codebox is already activated. I'm going to access the interface. Now I'm going to click Cloud Snippets and synchronize two of them with this website. This is the third website. going to enable this and save as you can see from here that 
you can reuse your code snippets across all your WordPress sites. Currently, WP Codebox offering solo for one domain just for 29 and this is for lifetime license means in future all the updates you will get. There is an agency plan also lifetime and you get unlim unlimited number of domains. There is a team plan also lifetime which gives you five domains. Let me show you a secret. You can get an agency license. Just apply this coupon and you will notice you immediately save nearly $30. So you can just get the agency plan with $89.25. You can pay with PayPal or credit card. Uh, for the special link, please use the link in the description and use the special coupon code. Once I started using WP Codebox, I, I managed to improve the time of deploying code snippets, multiple types, tracking codes, performance improvements and many other things all my WordPress websites. So I think this is a steal for this money especially with the unlimited domain options. Those who are using WordPress, I think they will use this every day on every website they build. This is something you should not miss. Let me know what is your thoughts on this. Personally, I think there is a place to improve, especially when you are synchronizing, the folders doesn't synchronize and certain small things like that. But it is a work in progress, so definitely you will get more features in the future. There is also other options like generate code, short code, and few other stuff that they're working on. The ultimate goal is always to install less plugins using that's why using code snippets is so much important. I think the amount of time it can save if you have five websites and you need to synchronize code between them, it's already returned the money you have invested. Thanks everyone. I will see you on the next one. Bye.